My name is Noah Morris. I was frontline medic yesterday uh, on the raid on the easement. Of the injuries we saw yesterday, uh, we saw more than 50 people who we had to treat collectively for pepper spray. We saw a number of people who had blunt force trauma injuries because of beanbag rounds, uh, concussion grenades, use of nightsticks, uh, and other kinetic weapons. Uh, we saw at least one individual who had been hit with a taser and had a taser barb impaled on his cheek. Uh, we saw a number of folks who had joint injuries for, from rough handling by law enforcement. And so, uh, also a number of folks who, who just received uh, injuries in their attempts to flee. Uh, they arrested two of our medics. They, they uh, forcibly removed myself and my partner uh, by hitting us from the back of our medic vehicle and the driver was pulled out while the car was still in drive uh, and was arrested. So any reports of restraint on behalf of law enforcement from a medic's perspective are completely false. And those folks came as instigators and those folks uh, are, are the problem, they cause the problem is they used are what's known as sting balls, which are most commonly used in prison uprisings. And they're approximately shaped like a tennis ball, and they're packed with hard rubber pellets and CS powder, or chemical agent, and so that uh, when they detonate, they both release a loud bang, and they send these hardened pellets in 360 degree direction, and that will bounce uh, so they'll sting and hurt people uh, and hit them in their legs and bounce off and ricochet back on them, especially in prisons out here. They uh, didn't have quite that multiplier effect, but they were using uh, their whole arsenal of uh, quote-unquote less-than-lethal weapons.